Tomorrow marks 10 years since the murder of UNC student Faith Hedgepath. It's a crime that rocked the UNC Chapel Hill campus and the community. I spoke with family and friends about Faith's legacy and how a select group of UNC students still carry on her name. A summer day in Warrenton, North Carolina. It's a small, quiet town, but holds memories for the family of Faith Hedgepath, like this one along South Main Street. It was the um, homecoming parade for the high school, and that was 2009. She was a cheerleader. She was looking back, smiling. She seemed like she really enjoyed, enjoyed that moment. She just, she enjoyed life. She had fun. Full of life. That's how Rolanda Hedgepath remembers her sister. Faith was very outgoing and uh, very smart. She loved helping people. That was the biggest thing about her. And she loved to eat. In fact, Rolanda says Faith enjoyed going to Lynch's Barbecue and Grill. It's located in the town of Hollister where Faith grew up. The employees remember her coming by. She was a lovely person and she always like kept a smile on her face. Faith was a student at UNC Chapel Hill. She was passionate about working with children and giving back to her Halawa Saponi tribe. Her dream was to be a pediatrician or a teacher, but that never came to be. Faith was found dead in her Chapel Hill apartment on September 7th, 2012. An autopsy revealed she died from blunt force trauma to the head. She was 19 years old. It's been tough. Um, it hasn't been an easy road. It just keep the faith and know that justice will come for her. Of course, there was an arrest just last year. What went through your mind at that point? It's finally happening. A decade since Faith's loss, loved ones want her to be remembered for who she was. Yeah, she touched a lot of lives. Um, she did a lot in her short period of time. And her legacy lives on through the Faith's Smile Scholarship, started by the family and funded through donations. It's for indigenous women pursuing higher education. Two $1,000 scholarships are awarded each year on Faith's birthday. She walked the same bricks that we walked, sat in the same classrooms that we sit in. Taylor Williams grew up in the same community as Faith. She's a past recipient of the scholarship and graduated from UNC Chapel Hill in 2021. It was just very meaningful to be able to go to the school that she went to and, you know, kind of do what she wanted to do. And sadly, she couldn't finish. Zion Richardson, who is best friends with Taylor, is a Faith Smile Scholarship recipient, too. I sort of saw myself in the legacy she left behind. So wanting to help her people, kindness to others, a big heart, a bright personality. And just to have a scholarship award in honor of someone like that, it was a very humbling thing for me. Growing up in Hollister, Zayan remembers participating in praise team with Faith. If I had to think about one specific thing I remember about her, it's what everybody says, like her smiling at me. Faith's smile, one that could brighten up a room. It's something Zayan carries with her every day. When I think about Faith's smile, it also is a daily encouragement for me to just go about my day and just smile at people because that was something that seems so small, but it's such a big part of her memory. Come spring 2023, Zayan will graduate from UNC Chapel Hill, keeping faith close to her heart. I feel like I'm doing it for her. So I know that in May, when it's time for me to graduate, it's also gonna be kind of a bittersweet moment because I know she didn't get that moment, but I feel like she's with me. And for the Hedgepeth family, faith is always with them. They plan to continue celebrating her life, giving back and helping other college students. Just, it feels great to give back. All in honor of Faith's memory and the lasting impact she had on the community. Still lots of sad moments. Just remember that she would want us to be happy. That's what she wouldn't want us to be sad. So we try to push through. So far, the family has awarded more than 20 scholarships to college students. And, you know, it, it's incredible that they're able to do that, mm -hmm. especially during that time when they really had no answers right. at all. So where is the case right now? Well, last year, police arrested Miguel Saguero Oliveras. He was charged with first-degree murder in Faith's death. Police say he was linked to the case through DNA from the crime scene. But police say they are not done getting answers. In a statement, Chapel Hill Police Chief Chris Blue tells CBS 17, quote, 
Our thoughts are with all of Faith's family and friends on the 10th anniversary of her murder. In partnership with the Durham County District Attorney, we remain committed to bringing justice to Faith and her family.